A forest in flames, now burning out. Embers. Though born to wealthy parents who were religious minded, I was disinterested even while young about the comforts of life, but was sincerely yearning and praying fervently to attain the feet of God in this birth itself. Things were going on smoothly for some years without disruption. But Lady Fortune deserted the family when I was 16 years and the greatest tragedy befell when my father left this world suddenly. This was a turning point in my life as I had to face many difficulties and tribulations. Life became intolerable and at this stage I even started doubting the existence of God. I wondered. I was leading a life free from sins, causing harm to none. And why all these sufferings? After seven years of mental agni and bitter experiences in life, a friend of mine casually gave me a book, Ramana Vijayam by Suddhananda Bharati. As good luck would have it, after reading this book, I decided immediately to visit Bhagavan Ramana Maharshi. I went to the ashram in the year 1943. I saw the sage seated in the meditation hall and was simply swallowed up by his benign grace. This went on for three consecutive days. I now had an urge within that the Maharshi should shower me with a verbal blessing. And I was fortunate enough on the fourth day to meet him when he was coming down the hill with only an attendant accompanying him. On seeing me, he graciously stopped and looked into me. In complete surrender, I fell at his holy feet. When I stood up, he spoke thus in Tamil. Kaattukku thee vaitagi vittadu அது தானே எரிந்து முடியும் இனி கவலைப்பட வேண்டியதில்லை வாசனாஸ்ட்ரெசிடிங்ஸ் Thoughts arose in my mind simultaneously with attachments to the objects of the thoughts in question. But gradually, they now float and fade away without staining the consciousness or leaving a residue. Consequently, I felt the mind was becoming lighter and lighter. The dawn of a complete void, not an emptiness, but a void that charged with potential energy a pregnant stillness is not far away it is happening runam means desire arunam is desirelessness chala means movement achala means non movement hence desirelessness leads to non movement of the mind which is sivamayam arunachala May I also take this opportunity to express my sincere thanks to the ashram authorities who have always extended their kindness and hospitality during my annual visits to the ashram since 1943. May Aruna Ramana shower his blessings on all of us. Om Shri Ramana Arpanamastu The thought, I am the body, is the string. on which are threaded diverse thoughts like beads. Therefore, on diving deep upon the quest, now, who am I and from whence thoughts disappear and consciousness of self then flashes forth as the I, I within the cavity of every seeker's heart and this is heaven. This is that stillness the abode of bliss bhagavan shri ramana